Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 34. Beyond Traditional Norms, Paul's Thoughts on Gender Roles and Slavery in His Epistolary Correspondence. In the previous lecture, we explored Paul's statement in the letter to the Galatians that in Christ there is no distinction based on ethnicity, social status, or gender. However, this concept raises practical questions about its application. In this lecture, we will delve into four additional letters written by Paul. Philippians, Philemon, Ephesians, and 1 Timothy to examine what he says about gender roles and the institution of slavery. Philippians Paul begins his letter to the Philippians by referring to himself and Timothy as slaves of Jesus, highlighting the idea that their lives are devoted to serving Christ. He expands on this concept in chapter 2, emphasizing that the Christian community lives out their freedom through selfless service to others. Paul illustrates this by pointing to the example of Jesus who poured himself out to serve humanity. He encourages the Philippians to adopt a similar attitude of humility and service. Philemon Philemon is a letter addressed to a slave owner named Philemon, whom Paul had introduced to the Christian faith. In the context of the Christian community, Paul reframes the relationship between Philemon and his slave Onesimus. Rather than advocating for Onesimus' freedom, Paul emphasizes the new relational dynamics brought about by their shared faith. Paul urges Philemon to receive Onesimus not as a slave, but as a beloved brother, emphasizing the importance of treating one another as equals within the Christian community. Ephesians The letter to the Ephesians takes on a broader cosmic perspective, praising God for His redemptive plan. It highlights God's desire for unity among all things in heaven and on earth through Jesus. In chapter 2, the writer addresses the divisions between Jews and Gentiles, stating that these barriers have been broken down through Christ. The letter also touches on marital relationships, acknowledging the cultural expectation of the husband as the head of the household. However, it emphasizes that the husband's role is one of sacrificial love, mirroring Christ's love for the church. The passage also addresses the relationship between slaves and masters, urging both parties to treat each other with fairness and respect. 1 Timothy The style and perspective of 1 Timothy differ from Paul's earlier letters, leading many scholars to believe it was written by someone else after Paul's time. It addresses concerns about false teachings and emphasizes the need for order and structure within the church. Chapter 3 focuses on the roles of bishops and deacons, expecting church leaders to exhibit stability and hospitality. However, the letter includes problematic statements about women, suggesting that they should learn in silence and not have authority over men. These statements are justified by referencing the creation account in Genesis where Adam is created before Eve. When approaching these conflicting passages, it is crucial to read the Bible responsibly and consider the tensions they present. For instance, while 1 Timothy appeals to the creation stories in Genesis to establish a hierarchy between men and women, others interpret Genesis as highlighting the equal worth of both genders as both were created in the image of God. These tensions can be observed not only in 1 Timothy but also in other writings attributed to Paul. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. 
continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series, Unearth Stories and Symbols in a Fresh Literary Light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening journey through Paul's letters, where we explored his profound views on gender roles and slavery. We've delved deep into the texts of Philippians, Philemon, uh, Ephesians, and 1 Timothy, unraveling the complexities of Paul's teachings and their implications for the early Christian community. From the humility and service emphasized in Philippians to the challenging perspective in 1 Timothy, today's episode offered a nuanced understanding of these timeless messages. We grappled with the implication of Paul's words and their relevance in our modern world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to stay updated with our series. In our next episode, episode 38, Universal Letters to Those Finding Their Places, we'll explore the letters of Hebrews, James, and 1 Peter, and their unique messages to early Christians feeling displaced in society. We encourage you to share your thoughts and reflections in today's discussions in the comments below. Join our community in this enriching journey of faith and understanding. Stay with us as we continue to navigate the depth of biblical teachings and their impact on our lives today. Until next time, keep exploring, questioning, and growing in your faith journey.